Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to make this amazing effect by using flame filter in Photoshop. So without wasting a time, let's jump into Photoshop. Here in Photoshop, take a quick selection tool. Now just click on select subject. It will automatically select the subject. After that, press Ctrl plus J to make a copy of your selection. Then select your background layer. Now create a new layer. Now take a pen tool and make a spiral shape path. Ok, go to Filter, Render, Flame. Now the flame filter is opened. Here you can set the length of the flame, width of the flame and you can also adjust the interval between the flames. One more thing, by clicking on this, you can also give the custom color to your flame. Just click OK. After that, delete the path. Now place your effect layer to the top. Then add a layer mask on it. Hold Ctrl and click on subject layer for selection. Take a brush and change the foreground color to black. Make sure opacity and the flow are 100%. Now remove the unwanted part of the flame. Ok now double click on flame layer for blending options. Then add a inner glow. Also add our outer glow. Set the values. Then hit OK. Now create a hue saturation adjustment layer to make a highlights on the subject and set the color same as flame color. Now double click on Hue Saturation Adjustment layer for blend if, hold Alt key and drag the slider. Now just hit OK, then click on Layer Mask and press Ctrl plus I to inverse layer mask. Click on Link button. Now take a brush, make sure the foreground color should be white. Then slowly create a highlights on the subject. Now I speeding up the video because it will take a more time to create a highlights. Go to layer panel, 
then create a new curves adjustment layer ok now hold the line from the middle and pull it upward then press ctrl plus i to inverse layer mask ok press b for brush and make the highlight part more brighten with the help of brush Here you can see my friends before and after. Ok now make a copy of Hue saturation adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Then delete the layer mask and by holding Alt create a new empty layer mask. Just zoom out. Now it's time to create a highlights on the rock surface also to make our image more realistic. Again I am speeding up the video for this process. Ok, one last thing is left. Select view saturation adjustment layer. Increase the brush size and reduce opacity. Now add a little bit glow to our subject. It's done. That's how you can create this amazing effect in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for upcoming updates. Thanks for watching and also thanks for supporting this channel. See you again.